the man with the twisted lip. Страница 42. While Sherlock Holmes had been telling the details of event, he had been driving through the outskirts of the great town until the last houses had been left behind them and we rode across the countryside. Just as he finished, however, we drove through two villages where there were still a few lights in the windows. We are on the outskirts of Lee, said my friend. We have visited three English counties in our short drive, starting in the middle sex, passing over an angle of Surrey and ending in Kent. See that light among the trees, that is the cedars, and beside that lamp sits a woman, and I'm sure her anxious ears have already heard the clink of our horse's feet. Страница 43. Put two rooms at my disposal. Предоставила две комнаты в мое распоряжение. Mosseline de soy, шелковый муслин. But why are you not conducting the case from Baker Street? I asked. Because there are many inquiries which must be made out here. Mrs. Sinclair has most kindly put two rooms at my disposal, and you may and you may stay and be sure that she will have nothing but a welcome for my friend and colleague. I don't want to meet her, Watson, when I have no news of her husband. Here we are. We had stopped in front of a large villa, which was surrounded by its own garden. A servant had taken the horses away, and I followed Holmes up the small path which led to the house. As we came closer, the door opened, and a little blonde woman stood in the opening. Dressed in some sort of white muslin de sore, she stood with her figure outlined against the light, one hand upon the door, one half raised in her impatience, страница 45, with bright eyes and her mouth open, she was a standing question. Well, she cried, well, and then seeing that there were two of us, she gave a cry of hope. But Holmes shook his head and shrugged his shoulders. No good news, none, no bad, no. Thank God for that, but come in. You must be tired, for you have had a long day. This is my friend Dr. Watson. He has helped me a lot in uh, several of my cases, and a lucky chance has made it possible for me to bring him here and involve him in this investigation. I am glad to see you, said she, shaking my hand warmly. Sorry for the inconvenience you may feel here. The trouble has come so suddenly upon us. My dear madam, said I, I am an old soldier. Besides, I can very well see that no... Страница 46. In your heart of hearts, в глубине души, apology is needed. If I can help either you or my friend here, I will be indeed happy. Now, Mr. Sherlock Holmes, said the lady, as we entered a well-lit dining room, upon the table of which was a cold supper, I should very much like to ask you one or two plain questions. Please give me plain answers to them. Certainly, madam, do not worry about my feelings. I am not hysterical. I simply wish to hear your real, real opinion about what. In your heart of hearts, do you think that Neville is alive? 
Sherlock Holmes seemed to be confused by the question. Frankly, now she repeated. Frankly, then, madam, I do not. You think that he's dead, I do murdered? Stranitsa 47. I don't say that, perhaps. And on what day did he meet his death? On Monday. Then, perhaps, Mr. Holmes, you will be good enough to explain how it is that I have received a letter from him today. Sherlock Holmes jumped out of his chair. What? he cried. Yes, today, she stood smiling, holding up a little sheet of paper. May I see it? Certainly. He took it from her impatiently, laid it on the table, and examined it carefully in the lamplight. I had left my chair and was looking at it over his shoulder. The envelope was very cheap and was stamped with the gravestand postmark and with the date of that very day, or rather of the day before, because it was after midnight. Surely this is not your husband's writing, madam, said Holmes. No, but the enclosure is... Страница 48. Блотинг, пейпер, промокательная бумага, сигнет, ринг, кольцо с печатью. I can also see that the man who addressed the envelope had to go and ask about the address. How can you tell that? The name, you see, is in perfectly black ink, which has dried itself. The rest is of the grey colour, which shows that blotting paper has been used. If it had been written at once and then blotted, none would be of a deep black colour. This man has written the name, and there has then been a prose before he wrote the address, which can only mean that he didn't know it. It is, of course, a detail, but there is nothing so important as details. Let us now see the letter. Ha! There has been some object here. Yes, there was a ring, his signet ring. And you are sure that this is your husband's writing? One of them? One?